what really happened to Leonidas. Myth and legend surround the story of Leonidas and the 300 Spartans. But what is the truth? Let's take a journey back in history and uncover the real story of Leonidas, the Battle of Thermopylae, and know what really happened to Leonidas. Leonidas is most famous for leading the Spartan warriors, along with allied forces, in the Battle of Thermopylae against the Persian army in 480 BC. His leadership and bravery is the face of overwhelming odds, making him a legendary figure in history. Let's have a closer look at the life of Leonidas. Leonidas the Warrior Leonidas was the king of Sparta during the 5th century BC. He was the son of King Anaxandrides II and his first wife, and the half-brother of King Cleomenes I. He was also the husband of Queen Gorgo, the daughter of King Cleomenes I. Together, they had a son, Plistarchus. The Spartans were an ancient Greek society of warriors who were known for their fierce and disciplined military culture. They were known for their strict military training, which began at a young age and continued throughout adulthood. The Spartan army was considered to be one of the most formidable fighting forces of the ancient world. Spartans were known for their physical fitness, athleticism, and military prowess. As a Spartan, Leonidas had gone through rigorous training as a hoplite, a type of heavily armored infantry Men who fought in the phalanx formation. All Spartan boys needed to enter the Agoge, which was a state-sponsored education and training program, at the age of seven. This training included learning how to fight with a spear and a large shield, and how to maneuver in a wall formation with other hoplites. Leonidas received even more rigorous training in military tactics, strategy, and leadership. He was trained in different forms of combat, such as hand-to-hand, -hand, weapons, and military tactics. As a result of the rigorous training, Leonidas was a highly skilled and experienced hoplite by the time he became king. Succession to the Throne After the untimely death of his father, Leonidas was chosen as king by the Spartan assembly, known as the Apella. The Apella was made up of Spartan citizens and was responsible for electing Spartan kings and other important government officials. Leonidas was chosen to be king due to his military experience and leadership skills, as well as his royal lineage. It's important to note that in Sparta, the king is chosen based on military and leadership skills. Battle of Marathon Ancient Greece was a group of many city-states where Athens and Sparta became the most influential and dominant among them. Despite the competition amongst these city-states for territory and resources, they formed alliances to protect themselves from external invasions. One such event was the Battle of Marathon, when these united city-states of Greece defeated the powerful Persian army. The Battle of Marathon was fought in 490 BC, the Persian army, led by King Darius I, had invaded Greece in an attempt to conquer the city-states. Athenians chose a narrow plain where the Persian cavalry would not be able to maneuver effectively. The battle began with a stalemate as the two sides engaged in a prolonged spear fight. However, the Athenians were able to break through the Persian line and the Persians began to retreat. The Athenians then launched a pursuit, which ended with the Persians being forced to flee back to their ships. Athenians were able to inflict heavy casualties on the Persians, and they were forced to retreat to Asia Minor. It was the first time that a heavily armed Persian army was defeated by a small Greek force, and it helped to establish the Greeks as a dominant military power in the region. Battle of Thermopylae the Battle of Thermopylae was fought in 480 BC between an alliance of Greek city-states led by King Leonidas of Sparta and the Persian Empire led by King Xerxes. It took place at the narrow pass of Thermopylae, located in northeastern Greece, which controlled access to southern Greece. The Persian army, which was much larger and better equipped than the Greek force, began the battle by attempting to force their way through the pass. However, the Greeks, who were heavily armed hoplites, were able to hold their ground and repel the Persian attack. The Persians then tried to outflank the Greeks by sending a force to attack the pass from the rear, but the Greeks were able to repel this attack as well. For three days, the Greeks were able to hold off the Persian army, despite being vastly outnumbered. Bravery of Leonidas and the 300 Spartans 
The bravery of Leonidas and the 300 Spartans at the Battle of Thermopylae is considered legendary in history. Despite being vastly outnumbered by the Persian army, they were able to hold the pass of Thermopylae for three days, significantly delaying the Persian advance into Greece. During the battle, the Spartans fought in a tight formation known as a phalanx, using their shields and spears to repel the Persian attacks. They fought with fierce determination and discipline, never faltering or breaking formation, and never giving up despite heavy casualties. Leonidas, in particular, is remembered for his bravery and leadership during the battle. He is said to have personally led the Spartan warriors into battle and to have fought with great skill and courage. He also demonstrated strong leadership by deciding to remain in the narrow pass with a small force to hold the Persians off while the rest of the Greek army could retreat and regroup. Death of Leonidas and the 300 Spartans On the fourth day, a resident named Ephialtes betrayed the Greeks by showing the Persians a mountain path that would allow them to outflank the Greek position. The Persians used this path to attack the Greeks from the rear, and the Greeks were forced to retreat. Although the Greeks were ultimately defeated, the battle was considered a significant victory for them. The Greeks were able to inflict heavy casualties on the Persians and delay their advance into Greece, giving the other Greek city-states time to prepare for the next battle. Leonidas and the 300 Spartans at the Battle of Thermopylae is also remembered as an act of selfless heroism, as they knew their sacrifice would allow the other Greek city-states to prepare for the next battle and ultimately defeat the Persian army. The battle also established the heroic status of Leonidas and the 300 Spartans, who fought and died there as they held the pass for three days against a much larger Persian army. The Battle of Thermopylae is considered one of the most iconic battles in history due to the heroism and sacrifice of the Greek warriors who fought there. Revenge of Leonidas Despite the sacrifice of Leonidas and his 300 Spartan hoplites at the Battle of Thermopylae, the Persians were still able to move down the Greek coast and into Boeotia. However, the Athenian navy's victory at the Battle of Salamis in September 480 BC marked a turning point in the Persian Wars, and the Persians were forced to retreat and return home. Nevertheless, Leonidas' actions served as a demonstration of Sparta's willingness to make the ultimate sacrifice for the protection of the Greek region. Forty years after the battle, the remains of Leonidas, or what were believed to be his remains, were retrieved, and a shrine was built in his honor near the site of his burial. The sacrifice and bravery of Leonidas at Thermopylae earned him lasting fame and reverence in ancient Greece. This is what really happened to Leonidas.